really like the way that Weah is running this right now. He's just pretty much uh, netting and using his poof even oh, for misery. the brewing. Misery is going to be the first blood in the top lane. He ends up getting caught by the rotation. It's kind of difficult not to get hit by the radius. Spiderlings are going to get headshot. Puppy here. They do have an extra three-man smoke rotation. This is something Alliance will continuously do with the Broodmother. Is they will smoke into the Broodmother's lane as best as possible. Admiral Bulldog will go down as Misery is able to get the too. snowball to finish mob. But Misery is now just going to be run down by the Rocket Barrage. And Dazzle actually gets picked off in the middle lane. Misery is going to be finished off. Question is, S4. Oh, yeah. He's definitely getting away. There's no way Jackie can actually kill him. So uh, S4 gets a kill on the Dazzle. They do see the CM at least. Yeah, see him. Got to TP go away, TP. but the nuke damage is going to catch him out before he can do anything. So, three kill there. My nuts and Admiral. They're going to go for a jump four now onto Misery. Can't quite get him. He's going to go into the middle lane where they're already going onto Jackie, who's ensnared up, frostbitten, and will not escape. Admiral Bulldog not even needing. He's going to be spotted, though, as Weehaw comes in. That's going to be a mess of oh, grief, but a good sleep. My nuts. Bobs it at the perfect time, and Admiral Bulldog will skitter away to safety. Or in fact, S4, he's going to jump forward here and try and get an anchor smash onto Misery. Can't quite get him, so they'll have to turn on a Pylite die instead. Shall Grave only buys him so much time. Call down just to zone back the rest of Team Secret and Alliance. And 11 minutes in, have taken the matchup. S4 has more CS. He's got the Blink Dagger really early completed. And He's just getting aggressive in the mid lane repeatedly. That's the second Ravage that he's used to get a kill. They should be able to grab the kill on him here. I don't think there's a way he survives this. Not with the heal bomb too, but... Uh, Alliance are still in pretty... They throw out the dust, but it doesn't catch Admiral Bulldog himself. The snowball just runs into the spider links and Misery he goes Misery a bit too dies. far. He's going to be caught by the ensnare and immediately burst into more Jackie babies. Here. He's already blinked himself once, makes the Yules onto S4. They're going to be able to get the Frostbite though, and they still have the Ravage. So they're going to commit it here to try and pick off Jackie. Anchor Smash goes out. They will be able to finish him off. A new comes out for the Visage, able to take out the tight under, but in the side, Admiral Bulldog now jumps on a pile. I die, the Orchid. And the burst of uh, damage will be able to pop him. Admiral Bulldog actually goes down in turn, to, thanks to Puppy's nukes. But Weha is going to maybe be cleaned up here. Snowball goes out, and there goes the Meepo. Lodo, though, will lose his Aegis. Misery caught in the Frostbite. There's no more the slows out. Yeah, because that was... N I mean, they won the fight. They killed Weha. They killed the Queen of Pain, too. But you would have liked to take a tower or potentially more kills than that. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> oh, and they're actually just going to kill Bulldog. Yeah, they caught him much need Got for him. anything else. Oh, Jackie actually just runs into Ake right now. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's going to be frostbitten right as the blink comes back up, and the damage is there. He tries to get off the sonic wave the last second, but... Did you see what happened? It actually happened. I've, no. the burst. I've, I've seen Satanic after SNY. It's not the build. It's not. You just don't do any damage. What about some, some other stat build, like Scotty? Uh, I just think that he needs damage to be able to pop the Meepos and times in okay. and destroys you. And they're going to go for this, but... Yeah, they're going to lock down. Oh, he gets off the BKB just in time. And now they're going to center up on Weeha. There, there is we no way he's escaping from this one. They should be able... They just pop the Ravage. Just, you know what? Control Weeha. Make sure there's no possible way for him to get out of this. Oh, he went sort of real aggressively. Yeah, and he's going to be caught in the process. Oh! They managed to get the Shallow Grave off in time. Jackie will survive because of that one. Aki in the background was attacked by Weeha. Will be able to get that one kill. S4, uh, he still has the Ravage if they want to fight this one after the sleep. Looks like they're going to go for it. Just controlling Weeha as best as possible. BKB pre preemptively. They're going to try and go for the Snowball save, but Weeha does end up going down before any of the poofs go out. And now Jackie's going to be caught by the ensnare of my nuts. But Loda is actually focusing on the Sigil. So pesky. They anchor smash onto Misery, running him down. S4 just jumps himself away, but Loda's actually in some serious trouble. They need to be able to save him, but unfortunately the Guardian Greaves comes out a little bit late, and now secondary time. life. Loda's going to be caught. He does not have a BKB. Weeha easily cleans up that kill as well. Team Secret now in the march forward looking for even more. My nuts. Four staff over the cliff is just barely going to be able to get out. Well, this is going to be an awkward position. Misery is going to jump in onto Minot. Snowball continuing further. He does manage to get the four staff to the side. Minot's ready to go with the sleep. 
Pops it now. Jackie keeps on going. Gets a really good Sonic Wave. He's going to be ensnared up. Tries to go for my nuts. Yule Scepter to be able to save himself. And now the Ravage goes off. Still controlling Jackie. But here comes Meepo. And S4 is going to be the first one down because of that one. Lotus BKB oh, that is going to fade soon. But the Freezing Field as well as Admiral oh, Fullback and Lotus Damage. Them. They're eating through Weeha. Eventually they're going to be able to get this kill. But it cost the Gyrocopter his life. And might just cost Admiral Bulldog his as well. Puppy's trying to catch up. Gets a new cough on to Ake. My nuts saving his allies as best as possible. Well, Army is Spidling surges forward, trying to trap these heroes in the river as best as possible. Admiral Bulldog's actually taking the best advantage of this possible. Going for Misery, the Glimmer Cape will keep them alive through the Orchid Pop. All right, TPing into one of the familiars on the side, and they will be able to drop it inside the pit. Roshan is delayed up a little bit, but they get the Aegis just in time, and now Minots pops the ultimate as Alliance. Are they going to reset here, or are they just going to escape? It looks like a reset. S4 positioning himself to be able to get as many in the Ravage as humanly possible. They pop the Tusk instantly. Looks like Puppy's going to be dropping here soon. Sonic Wave on Alota brings him low. The Crystal Man gets wiped out by those familiars, and uh, Weeha just backed up. He didn't even try and be a part of that fight. Uh, the moment they took that Aegis, I think they just called yeah, it. Got to make their jump sometime soon, unless they're just going to give up this top lane Rax in exchange for the Aegis, but I doubt it. A lot of damage comes out onto Lona. Ravage jumping in. Jackie is going to be controlled immediately. Weehaw going in the background, going for my nuts. Shao Gray manages to save Jackie. Now they turn oh, on to Weehaw, field. and they've got the control easily. S4 now pops it. Refresher ready to go with that secondary Ravage, but he needs to wait out Weehaw's initiation. They finish off the Visage quite easily. Jackie Trying to come forward with his Shivas. They're getting control onto Lona. Might just be able to take his Aegis out without the real fight commencing. But they've taken the lane of Rax and Weeha, he's actually going for a lane of Rax at bottom lane. He's going to try, especially with the tier 2 that's still up. They're going to catch as many heroes as they can, but my nuts, a very good sleep by him. Controls everybody, even if he has to feed away his life and in the process, maybe losing the gem. That's all right. He made sure that none of those TPs got cancelled. And Weeha didn't have the opening to be able to uh, take a lane of Rax himself. Yeah, again, I can't talk about it enough, but the Aghanim Scepter BKB Freezing Field is actually destroying Weeha. Loda, he's kind of got here. The rest of the team is on his way, but maybe he can pop Loda before the rest of them get there. They get the side device, the first opening. damage, and he's gone. Down for 100 seconds, the buyback. Now they're going to be able to catch to the rest of Alliance. They cannot afford to be losing this. My nuts. Pops the ultimate once again. Mass TP's out. Oh, Weeha caught S4. Oh, that's going to be a sad one indeed. He does have a buyback, so they'll be able to force a Gyro and Tidehunter buyback most likely. Oh, they're going to again. Also going to be caught. He also has a buyback, but this is his second gem that he... Oh, no, actually, he recovered the gem from Puppy, so he's going to lose the, the same gem over and over again. So, Mass TP's up top lane. Oh, they catch someone else. Okay, BKB, but he's going to be body blocked by Weeha. Right click down, Freezing Field activated, but that's not going to work. And now they have no Freezing Field for 90... They're going to go for Ammo Bulldog here. And they might just be... Oh, yep, they caught him. Admiral Bulldog has been caught. Set a nice little spider trap. Run down the webs yeah, with the... Uh, I don't cast the hero competitively enough to keep up with the trends. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, Weeha has to kind of feel... Uh, I don't really know what you change out of this. Oh, game. Jesus, look at Puppy. He's just tanking up Admiral Bulldog's right clicks. But still, he's going to need some help. The Ravage comes out, stalls up. Both Misery and Puppy, they should be able to get this kill quite soon. Admiral Bulldog still committing. Puppy's living forever. Misery, not quite so much, though. Loda just turns onto him and quickly cleans him up. And Meepo, as well as Jackie, the Queen of Pain, will back themselves up. I thought for a I've second never said that about a Radiance. Oh, Admiral Bulldog, he found Pylai died. They're going to be able to have Mass Boots of Travels in. They're going to go for the second one. Misery also going to get bashed up. They're going to get two for one. Two for nothing, I mean. Oh, dear. Seem secret. That would have been so many things used. Oh, here comes the initiation. Ravage on two. Loda immediately going to follow that up. Ravage again going out. They're controlling both Misery and Puppy. Glimmer Cape is actually keeping alive. And Puppy, they're going to turn this one around. Weehaw's now here. S4 trying to jump out, but aside the vice on the Loda. And he's got no support. Butch of Travel is coming in, but Loda's going to be dropping fast. Satanic keeping him alive. They're keeping him alive, actually. He's going to oh, be able to go through this. Weehaw swarming forward. Goes for my nuts. Loda pops the ultimate at the same time to slow down Weehaw. But the sigil and everything else is actually getting him to him. Slowly but surely, he found a regeneration. Don't tell me! Oh, Pylai die! He managed to just take away that regen, even though Loda picked it up. S4 is going to be the target instead. Uh, getting over the cliff. Oh, can he actually get out? Blink Dagger one more second. He's going to be able to blink himself some distance away. Weeha, though, is on the hunt. He's going to be able to catch him with the ensnare, and the rest of the Meeples will catch up. As 
four. He actually pops the cheese. They're going to go for the boots of travel play. Okay, he pops the freezing frail. They're going to take out Weeha here. Oh, what an ultimate. Okay, does it big. And now Admiral Bulldog, the rat through and through, goes straight to the bottom lane. Starts chipping away. get the blink in. Ravage. This could be game winning if he finds the right opening here. Misery once again. Waller's Punch. They're playing it slow right now. Just letting Lona be on the front lines and slowly but surely getting these objectives. My nuts pops the ultimate. They're going to be on full retreat here. Oh, the familiar is actually dropping. Meanwhile, we have actually pushing in the top lane. There's only Admiral Bulldog to be able to defend. The rest of the team still catching up. Shiva slowing down everyone on the side of Alliance. Another side of the vice. He's going to come back. Weeha wants to be here for this fight. Loaded now pops the Satanic. Here comes the Ravage. Four lost down. One. Ravage comes in again. Weeha stopped up. Freezing field. field. Let it go. Okay, he's going to just crush through all of them. No buyback on Weeha. Immediate buyback out from Loda. And all the team just starts swarming and Puppy, for somehow is the Vanguard still alive through all of this one, but eventually they will eat through him and snare. Right click, right click, right click, and he's going to be going down. The Shell Grave only buys him so much, and now there's going to be two heroes without buyback, and Mega Creeps going to be coming in for Alliance here sometime soon. Already the Creeps are threatening that Radiant Ancient. They're scrambling to be able to just stay alive in this game, but Alliance, they smell blood in the water, and they're going to be able to surge forward to finish off at least Mega Creeps here, and eventually go for the throne. They're trying to target uh, Admiral Bulldog right now. Actually pops the BKB, Lotus Orb, actually keep it alive, and now they get the lockdown of the Abyssal. Jackie gets saved by the Shell Grave. Sonic Wave goes out. He can actually blink himself away, but the Frostbite's controlling, and he's still going to go down. He doesn't have a buyback either, and GG's finally called Team Secrets first loss and in epic fashion Alliance take it 78 I minutes didn't in. even matter Alliance sync up completely there like that four-man ravage on top of the freezing field from Ake I mean I've talked about him all game but this entire